Today, we're crafting blind. So we have to start this video with a little bit of a history lesson or a little bit of a cultural lesson. So I am a part of a fighting company called Ferrum Crux, uh, mainly in the game of Amp Guard. And in our fighting company, there are two types of members. We have our full members who get to wear blue and green, as well as our symbol, the cross. And then we have our initiates, which we call minions. Minions are only allowed to wear the blue and the green. But something that we expect of all of our members, whether they are a minion or a full member, is we expect them to wear colors all the time. Now these colors can be a tunic, they can be a belt, they can be a belt favor, they can be a shield cover, they can really be anything. We just expect you to wear colors. And so we do something called minioning or minion tagging in our company. So if a full member like myself, someone who we call crosses, they can wear the cross, want to pick up somebody else to be a minion, they will oftentimes give them what we call a minion tag. This is essentially just a little belt favor. Uh, we give it to them when we're, say, on the ditch field or when we're out fighting. If we see somebody we like, we give them the minion tag if they accept it. And then that way they can wear colors until we can get them a nice tunic or something else like that. Generally, these minion tags are 12 to 18 inch little belt favors. And that's what I'm going to make today. But I wanted to make it interesting. So today I am going to be making a minion tag weaving blind. All right, so I think the hardest part of this is going to be keeping everything straight as I have the blindfold on. I've got my blindfold right here. It's gonna be a bandana that'll cover my face. Uh, gonna do pretty much the entire belt blindfolded. Let's uh, see how far I can go, see what the end result looks like. I have an idea in mind for how I want to weave it and what I want the pattern to look like. Uh, we'll see how close I get to it though. I'm gonna go ahead and blindfold up and we'll get started. Here we go. All right, so I think the hardest part of doing this is going to be keeping track of my tools. Um, so I'm gonna, most of the time, keep my ring on my toe, so that way I know where it is. I'm gonna try and keep my scissors over here on my right, so I always know where they are, and then my paracord's down there. Let's see how this goes. All right, so first off, I'm gonna try and do three blue, two silver, three green, two silver. That's my goal. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll see each of these strands that I'm gonna do are going to be three yards long. That should be plenty enough to weave. Um, so we'll get started. If I remember correctly, I put my cord down in front of me in order. So <laughs> let's see. That should be three of my first color. All right, so next I'm gonna do blue, and then I'm gonna go back in and try and separate to do the silver, because I think that would be easier than losing track of all my cord down on the ground. So next should be my blue, which if I remember, yep, my blue I did not have on a spool, so I know this one's blue. So that should be three green and three blue. One, two, three. One, two, three, perfect. All right, so now silver. Okay. 
So I want four total silver, but it will be two in between each color. One. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over to my ring and I'm gonna separate out one, two, three. So I wanna put two, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, two here and two here. If I did this correctly, let me show you, this should probably over here somewhere. Hopefully, that's what we want. So, move on to the actual weaving. Oh man, it's hot in this mask. Well, I guess I can explain what I'm doing here. So, with this, you take the one on the far left here, and you're gonna weave it under, and then over, under, over. And you're just gonna do that all the way through. And this is a fairly standard horizontal weave here and when you get to the end you're going to pull it all the way through you're going to take the one that you left out from last time and you're going to pull it tight on both ends you're then going to take your thumb and you're going to separate all the strands out so you have I don't know if you can see it on this screen or not but half all the ones that are on top are on top of your thumb and all the ones on bottom underneath you're going to separate those out you're going to pull those real tight that gets rid of all the looseness in your weave here. You're then gonna come back through and you're gonna grab the last one that is actually hanging down on the belt, tighten it, tighten both of these. Then you're gonna take your top one, bring it over the weaving strand and put it back into the belt, tighten that again, set it off to the side, start over and keep doing it. Mm, that doesn't feel right. Okay. <laughs> so I may have missed a strand. Let me straighten these back out. That didn't feel right. Okay. Maybe it was. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to go back through and watch that afterwards and see if I, I did miss it.
So I keep checking here to see how long it is. I want it to be a little bit longer than my hand before I go into the end knot. So I'm almost done. I'll stretch for a minute, my toes are falling asleep. I'm getting there, I'm almost done. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the end knot. I have no idea what my two ends here are, um, what colors you're gonna get here. Generally, I try and make these, what I'm about to do, the Solomon bar, the same color, um, but I'm not sure what these are, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, <laughs> and we'll see how it turns out. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of throw it back in the middle. Grab my last one here. Bring it over. The Solomon bar. I have other videos on this if you want to see more in depth on how to do this. I'm just kind of going blind here, so not probably the best explanation for this right now. Okay. Do a couple of these. Now, we're gonna go back through. I'm gonna tighten all of these up. Hopefully that looks all right. Feels like it's okay. All right, so now we're gonna do a spiral just because that's one that I don't have to really know what the colors are for it to work for the end knot here. This is just a series of half Solomon bars. So instead of finishing the whole Solomon bar, you're just doing half of one and you're just picking a side and doing it the whole way. Let's see if this feels right. Yep, it feels right. So I don't know if you can see it, but it starts to make a spiral there. Okay. Did I get caught up? Yep, there we It's a really short end knot. I don't know if I like that. I'm out of cord, so I don't really have. Well, we're gonna have to go with it. So we'll go ahead and cap this thing. So we'll finish up the Solomon bar. Side, so let's go over here. This side. Oh, oh man, that made it even shorter. It's alright though. Alright. So now, what we'll do, we're gonna keep these down. We're gonna separate these out into two. Hopefully equal strands. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Verse one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of these is equal over. We're gonna take our take these here. We're gonna tie it off. There is our belt fly. Let's take this off and take a look. Oh, huh. I actually did get a full silver. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna finish up these ends and then we'll go throw it on the mannequin and see what it looks like in guard.
Hey, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that wraps up this video where I made a belt flag blind. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe as well. Leave a comment down below if you have any other ideas for videos or any questions about anything I did today. Really, really appreciate all of your support. My name is Godric Gray with Dragon Masters. We'll catch you next time.